This is February 26th, the trade recap for possibly the most boring day of trading in all of history. Uh, even worse than yesterday, which is, yesterday was tough to beat. So, um, you know, sometimes you just go through this. I mean, Monday, Tuesday were okay, but when, I mean, it just got progressively slower and slower and slower. Wednesday was bad. Thursday was worse. Friday was even worse. Um, but it, it's just kind of, it is what it is. Uh, next week I will, uh, you know, Monday morning, I'm going to expand my spectrum a little bit, probably look at more what I call real stocks, because just right now there's just nothing in the penny stock world that's, you know, that is moving. Now that could obviously change Monday, but this week's just been slow. So Enoch was a winner, though I'm not real happy with it. I you can on my blog I I, I did a, a, a timestamp recap. Yesterday, I think it's 630, and then I added again. Basically, I think my average was like 615. Something like that. I held it overnight. I basically got squeezed into the close, but I was just like, I mean, it's foolish, but I was just like, had nothing going on. So I'm like, I'll just hold this thing and see what happens. I mean, great idea. But nice thing is, I mean, it pulled right down at the open. And then I just was like, I, I read a book most of the day. I just was like, I had a, a stop at VWAP and it, it never never hit VWAP, so I just kind of let it work. Um, let me add VWAP, which this isn't quite the, let me, I'll, I'll mess with the time frame. But anyway, you know, it just, it never went through VWAP, so I was like, I'll just hold it and see what happens. Got a nice little yank at the close. It triggered SSR, which is down 10% on the day. Uh, you know, probably would be a nice hold for the, for Monday, but again, just, it, was excruciatingly boring today and I just I would much prefer to start over fresh on Monday but you know this hit SSR so it's probably going to hold up for the rest of the day today I covered at that and, and called it good um so, so okay trade the overnight hold was probably a little foolish but you know I didn't have a huge size or anything so Momo uh, you know it looked like some kind of like pre-market to me, this pre-market activity was like a squeeze out and, and like almost like buy-ins. It was like, you know, it just, there was no big volume, but it just tick, tick, tick. And and then it yanked right out of the close. So, so I don't remember exactly what time. I think, yeah, okay. So I it yanked, pulled back, and then started fading. So I shorted it like 12.04, I think somewhere around 10.30 maybe. Um and then just nothing all day, <laughs> nothing to nothing to really trigger an exit on a stop loss or profits. But it just once I got out of Enoch, I was like, you know, with a profit, I'm just like, I'm done. It's three thirty. This thing's going nowhere. If anything, it's holding twelve. I, you know, if I had to, if I had to pick a trend, it's probably gonna grind up into the close. So just just nothing. I mean, there's there's no reason to hold this because, to, in my opinion, it's about seventy thirty. It's going to go up. Now, sure, it might yank into the close. And what's we actually just got? What's this? Okay, just um, got an alert here. Um, I'll read that. But um, oh, so so yeah. I mean, this is kind of cool feature of stocks to trade. I mean, it's trending up five percent move in three minutes. Now it's you know nothing much, but so. I wish I had something better to report, just not an interesting day. So uh, we'll see you Monday, and hopefully we'll, we'll have something significantly more interesting to report.